Tonight we're going to take a look at the Josephus permutation challenge. Now this challenge asks me to create a, uh, a function that returns a Josephus permutation. Um, it takes in parameters of an initial array and a number of items to be skipped um, in a circle until I, all the items have been removed from the array and uh, the result is the number of or the order of items as they are removed of the, from the array. Um, now, as I said, uh, this method takes in an array and a skip number. If the array, the original array is empty, it will return the empty array. However, if it's not, uh, what I do is I create a clone of the original array. This is so I don't mutate the original array. Um, and I just uh, set it to, or temp array equal to that array clone. Then I create an empty array for the result. This is where all of the numbers or letters or uh, items from the array, the initial array, are going to be pushed into as they are removed from that array, and they are going to be pushed in a specific order based on the skip. Set my current index equal to zero, and then I set up a while loop that will run until the temporary array is empty. <clears throat> now, as it runs through this while loop, it's going to uh, s uh, count or set the current index equal to um, the current index, whatever that is, plus the skip minus one. Uh, now I set this minus one because we're still on a zero base counting system. Um, so that will put the uh, current index in the correct location. Then I check to see if the current index is greater than the length of the temporary array. If it is, I take the modulus of the current index uh, and the temp array dot length, um, and this allows it to wrap around. Um, that remainder, of course, is where the current index should be. Then um, I push into the result array um, the number that I remove from the temporary array at the current index. And I use I remove it using delete at. Um, and again, this will remove that item from the temporary array, push it into the result array, and then continue the while loop until the temporary array is empty. Once it is, I uh, return the result. So let's go ahead and take a look at this real fast. <clears throat> Um, I've set up the test method, and this is going to be all of the uh, challenge tests that uh, have been created, and then one additional um, so that we can actually see that wraparound happen should the temp or should the skip move beyond the length of the temporary array. So let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, uh, we get um, all the numbers that we should be getting with no nil values, um, no values set outside of the uh, array itself, and uh, the values are in the order of the challenge tests that should be passed in. <clears throat> um, of course, we could run through one of these, so let's say if we take the first array, which wasn't part of the actual test, but let's go ahead and run it anyway because that was the example that was shown to us. So. Um, Josephus takes in the array 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and the skip is 3. So the first number to be removed will be 1, 2, 3, the 3, and it's 3. Then 1, 2, 3, 6. Then 1, 2, 3, 2. Uh, remember the 3 was removed, so 1, 2, 6 was removed, 7. Okay, then um, two was, 1 wasn't removed, so 1. 2 was removed, 3 is removed. Um, 4 is not removed, so 2, 3, 5. And then it just continues on. And so as we can see that the numbers are in the order that they are supposed to be in. Um, again, built out, uh, this is a Ruby file. So I built out an R spec to test uh, my methods. Um, and we can go ahead and run that R spec real fast. Uh, let's just do bundle, exec, R spec. Six methods. Uh, sent in six examples, zero failures, and there you have it. So if you have any questions, please feel free to post them to the forum, and I will answer them as soon as possible. Thank you.